Hey, what's going on everybody? This is VGC Extended. I'm D-Man and I've got Paul with me. Hey Paul, how's it going? Pretty good. Well, it's Throwback Thursday and uh, looks like we're going to play a little Super Mario All-Stars for Super Nintendo. Cool. Then Super Mario All-Stars basically displays all the uh, classic Mario games from the NES. So, we got Mario Brothers, Mario Lost Levels, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3. I think we're going to give, uh, what, we'll give Super Mario 2 a try? Sure. Super Mario 2 is actually not even like was originally from Japan. It was actually just released for the uh, United States. So I guess we're going to try an all new one. And uh, I guess we're going to do segment by segment by level. So awesome. All right. Well, let's uh, give it off. Uh, for me, I like to pick. Uh, I think I'm going to pick Toad for this one. And we're going to do World 1 1. So let's see what this is all about. So I know that in the Super Mario All-Stars version, Super Mario 2 here has a lot different background than the, than the original Mario 2. Uh, complete background. <laughs> it looks like we're in a jungle, you know. So, but basically we're going to, I'm going to basically be able to show you guys how to conquer this game really quickly. So, um, the one thing is about Mario 2, it kind of lived up to Mario 1 with the, the warp zones and everything. So if you see the little chemistry beaker, that basically is where you can find a mushroom to extend your hearts. And if you get hit, then you lose a heart. But uh, have you played Mario 2 before, Paul? Actually, no, I haven't. This one actually is a lot different from the original Mario Brothers. But, uh, you know, you can't just squash the, uh, there's a heart there if you kill a certain number of them at a time. Um, if you get all the cherries, if you get a certain number of cherries, then a star comes up, and it actually comes out pretty cool. You can actually stand on these creatures instead of squashing them. You can pick up objects, throw them. You can even uh, pick up one of the creatures and uh, throw them at each other, you know? <laughs> so we're just going to keep going through here, water logs. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle shell. <laughs> You'd be, be amazed what you might pick up. So there's the star I was talking about. And you can basically just go through the door. You know, there are many ways, uh, folks, that you can get through level one, world one, really fast. If you uh, go up the vine here, you can. Uh, have two choices. You can either go this direction out here, which I'm going to go temporarily, because if you go out here, pick up a beacon, throw it right here, because every uh, flower or everything you pull up here, you see a coin, it's for your bonus. So, and we're going to come back. My little trick, if anybody else doesn't know how to do this, if you come back in here and make your jump across, there is actually a shortcut how to get to the end than having to go up all the vines and go up to the rest of the level. So what you do is you just pick up a bomb, wait for it to start really going off, and then just drop it. And just be careful because you got to time it just right. How about your take, Paul? That was interesting. I've never played this before, so it's all new to me. Yeah. So this is basically a shortcut right here to get to the building. There's our good old villain. I remember when I first played this game as a kid, I didn't know how to beat it. And then I realized you had to pick up the egg and throw it out. You had to hit him three times. But one thing I like about Toad is he's able to pick up objects a lot faster than some of the other characters. And then he throws his little crystal ball. And it's so funny because you remember how you used to have to hit a flagpole and go into a castle? Uh -huh. Well, in Mario 2, you have to go inside this eagle's mouth. And now. Every time you pick up those coins in the bonnet in the beacon where the mushrooms are at in the dark, this mm -hmm. is uh, every coin you pick up is a bonus round in the slot machine. 
So your goal is you want to get as many cherries. You know, if you get one cherry up front, then you get an extra life. If you get two cherries, you get two lives. If you get three, I think you get like four or five lives. So it's actually kind of fun to watch. So I think we just sit here quickly just going through this bonus chance. If you get all three object, three item, matching items, you get an extra life. So it's just another chance to pick another life. Oh, darn. So I think I'm going to continue on. Well, no, this uh, for my recommendation, folks. If you're planning to play World One Level Two, my recommendation is to pick Luigi, and I'll and you'll see why when I pick Luigi. Is uh, you want to be able to uh, oops, and <laughs> also be careful with Luigi because. He sometimes can, you can lose a little control with him. His uh, jumping is kind of funky, as you can see right here. And you just basically want to, and you'll see why I'll, I'll pick Luigi. And my recommendation is go as low as you can to avoid these guys. Come on up. Try to get that cherry. Throw it over. And then there's these little can, these little I don't know what they call them, little pots or something. If you go down and um, there's actually something inside, and like, this one has a one up. So pick up here and come up, you know. So yeah, but uh, oh, what do you think? So it's cool. It's very good. This one is very important because you have a key, and every time you pick up a key, you got one of these mask things that wants to go after you. It's, it's basically saying, "Oh, you're violating." But here's the funny thing, guys. You need the key to open that door. But you technically don't need to because if you have Luigi, Luigi can jump taller. So here's what I do. I pick up this star guy that jumps. And then I hop right up here. And I come up and I pick him up and destroy this guy. I pick this thing and I come over here where all these little patches are. I don't know if you want to call them weeds or what. <laughs> and But the sad part about Luigi is, and you'll notice, He's slow at picking up these uh, patches, or I call them weeds. But, you know, now all those coins will give me more bonus in the bonus round, in the next moment. Oh, okay. So, now it looks like here we're right back to our lovely little friend here. Um, he has a name, I forgot what his name is. <laughs> uh, I would like to call him Little uh, Egg Eater. <laughs> You know, so, I don't know, what, what would you describe this guy? The dash that eggs out. <laughs> so, but, you know, the thing about Luigi is he has a longer jump. So you have to, like, kind of jump ahead. He's a little slow at picking up objects. However, when it comes to trying to get high jumps to get to certain areas of the levels, he is perfect at doing that. So, and for World 1 Level 2, Luigi actually would do very well on this level. So how did you think of level two? That was good. That was good. Yeah, that was actually a, a little secret that uh, I came up with. I don't know, I have not seen many gamers out there that have been able to figure out that type of trick, but uh, that was just one way to try to get through half the level. So, but I think we, we can actually get through all the way to level seven really fast in this oh. game by doing shortcuts. So we got two cherries, so that was two up right there. So then we got another cherry, so we got another one up. So, so far that puts us at 10 lives. And another cherry, so that's really awesome. We got 11 lives now. So now we're in level 1-3, and folks, I recommend you to pick Princess. Pick Princess Toadstu for level 1-3. And I'll show you why. She will be very helpful very helpful toward the end. And let's see. And we're going to pick up another beacon. And there's a mushroom. You always want to make sure to try to get as many of those mushrooms as possible. Um, I'm going to quickly... The one thing I like about Princess is she flies. See? So like you can jump and run and she'll fly. I like picking Princess because she can fly over many obstacles. There's the star. Let's see if we can try it again. Get it? Alright, let's move forward. Alright, get through. 
There's a big secret in World 1-3. There is a warp zone in this level. But it's not going to probably be toward the end. So, and now there's a clock which freezes everything, which is very good because what you want to do, folks, is there's the chemical, the beacon. And what you want to do is fly over and see this little pot here, Paul? You just put the door up here, pull it down, and then head down, and then boom, we enter a warp zone. Cool. And we jump from level one, and we're on our way to world four. So we wow. skip world two and three. Um, for for level, <clears throat> I would pick Toad on this one for world four. You can also pick Mario, but I like Toad, you know? I've always been a big fan of Toad. <laughs> you know, he's pretty quick, you know, so... Uh, he's quick at picking up things. Uh, he's good at dodging objects, so you know he's pretty cool. Oh, oh. gotta be careful. We're also playing this through the Super Nintendo, so the Super Nintendo controller can be a little tricky versus the NES controller. So, but basically, we're in the ice world of Mario 2, and this is what happens when you are down to just two hearts, and then boom, you just die right there like that. So that's why, like, when you see those mushrooms, it's always important because it gives you an additional heart. Yeah, that's so always good, that's always a good thing. Uh, the one thing I hate about the ice world is these ice blocks, man. They really make you slide. <laughs> and sometimes it's an advantage, but sometimes it can also be a disadvantage. So you know, you just gotta know when to jump. Um, sometimes this part right here can be kind of hard because you're trying to pick up the beacon. Trying to drop it right here and see if the mushroom is within the area. There it is. And then there's some more of those weed patches. So let's try to pick them up. Looks like at least we got two for the bonus. Looks like little Christmas onions. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see, we're just going to get through here. You know, it's just trying to avoid getting hit by these uh, creatures. And here. There's another chemistry beacon right here. Just uh, let's go to the door. And then we're gonna go and grab the mushroom. Now we have the max four, all four hearts, which was very helpful. And then we need to slide down here and now we go into a rocket ship to go up to the next part. So we're pretty much approaching the end of this level right now. So we just have to get through this. You know, you're gonna see some very interesting things like this right here. You can actually pick up the guy. But it's gonna come right back, and you can just boom, just hit him. You know, so we're just gonna sit here. The thing is, that thing's gonna shoot fire, <laughs> so you wanna try to get as much as possible. Um, so we're just gonna run. Um, we're just gonna get through here the best as possible. Let's see. My advice pick up this guy. Right Throw it, boom. Oh, there's a heart. So that actually will help fill your hearts there on your left. And at least we don't have to fight a villain. We just pick up the crystal ball. And we go inside the eagle's mouth. <laughs> so what'd you think of World 4 Level 1? It was good. It was great. Have you always been... Um, I don't know. I've never been a big fan of the Ice Worlds. In any of the Marios. So I ended up picking Toad. And I think I might have picked him by mistake. So, but... Let's see what happens here. Yeah, we're going up. This is, uh... Yep, this is the one where you have to really have maneuvers. Bend, jump, and uh, yeah, be careful. And I'm just gonna keep going. Keep bending. Bend down. Jump. Oh, <laughs> didn't quite make Ouch. it. Um, so, anyway, but... In this particular level, guys, I would pick uh, Princess again. I would pick her. And you'll see why, because she will help later on down in the level. So we're just going to try to get through this part of the level. You know, so, and we're just going to, you know, try to avoid getting hit by these guys. Oh, I already got hit once. Gotta get another mushroom. And then through the door we go. Now, if anybody who hasn't played this part, we got a bunch of whales in this part. If you come over here, you're gonna find a chemistry beacon. It opens up the door. And then you got 
good old mushroom right there. So that really helps. So, oh. <laughs> uh, the good news is I think we get to start right where we left off. So <laughs> we won't have to worry about going through that again. But uh, so now we're in this part of the level. Now here's a, a little advice out there. Uh, you want to pick up this beacon, you want to hang on to it. So press your B button down as much as possible. And what you want to do is you just want to hang on to it. You're going to need it later in the level. So the goal is try to stay up on top as much as possible. You know, stay on the water part if you can. And then right here you're going to fly. There's another pot right here. Stick the door on. And then all of a sudden we're going to go down and we're going through another warp zone. So cool. we're going to skip from level from world four, and we're on our way to world six. Excellent. So that is a pretty cool thing. Uh, I'm going to stick with Toad, and we're now in world six dash one. Uh, in this one, guys, you're going to have to play through the whole level. There's really no tricks to this one. Um, you literally got to get through it. So my advice is. Pick the one that can pick up the creatures the fastest. That's why I like picking Toad. Um, and then we go down this pot here because there is a beacon. So we're going to try to get back up to the top. We can. Laying about, oh, we just died. <laughs> so we're going to try again. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to stick with Toad. Uh, we're going to go through. I guess you can call this the Egyptian level. Yeah. So, but um, we're just gonna sit here and uh, just got killed. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm gonna switch and try Mario this time. It's it's only fair to pick Mario. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's Super Mario too. So let's let's give uh, Mario a shot here. Uh, Mario's got to be able to see and just play in some level. So we're gonna pick it up here and. We got quicksand here, guys, so you, the best bet is to try to stay off the quicksand as best as possible. And just try to get back up to the top. And uh, we're heading up. And the best advice is take this beacon and drop it right here. Be careful because the mushroom is going to fall into the quicksand. Pick it back up. And head back up. And then this little cactus guy here, I know this guy's name, it's named after my, he's, he's actually named Pokey. And it's really ironic that they named it Pokey because my dog as a kid when I got this game was named Pokey. <laughs> so, so, so tell me Paul, talk to me a little bit here, let's see. I don't know, I'm just looking, looking at these, watching the gameplay, it's definitely different from the original, so. And it's really funny because when you went from Mario 1 to this game, Mario 2, and then when they brought Mario 3 out, there was there was no comparison or any semblance to Mario 2 at all. It was very interesting. I was like, wow. You know, I was like... And I think it's that, that this was... This particular game here was strictly launched... And we don't really need to go in that door anymore, but I like to pick up Pokey and best advice to get rid of them completely is try to get them at the bottom as best as possible, but I think I'm going to leave it from here. <laughs> better run, better run, better run! Oh, crap. I haven't played this game in a while, and it's really hard to get through just level World 6-1. It, it gets a little more difficult. Yeah, it does. You know. But um, we're just going to keep trying here and get through this uh, level as best we can. It's uh, with using a Super NES controller, it's hard, <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really cool game. Um, I know a lot of people don't really talk about Mario too much anymore, but I keep dying in the same spot. <laughs> you know, so we're just going to keep trying to get through this level. And as yeah, JP will you see, it can be a difficult level. The quicksand is what really makes it difficult, you know? Look, yeah, got does. three in a row here. You know, I'm trying to use this guy here to pick up... Oh, there we go! Finally got... Oh, I got a heart out of it, too. So, we're going to... Oh, oh, try to avoid the quicksand as much as possible here, but... Oh, there we go again. Oh, and Pokey returns. 
Oh, better run, better run, better run, better run. Alright. There we go. We're advancing. Yay, we're advancing, but we're not out of the woods yet. But I will do is pick up Pokey's head here. <laughs> oh, wow. Water going oh. Crap, I missed the heart. Would have made me big, too. <laughs> Ah, oh, dying again. <laughs> and we're getting kind of close to the end of the level, too. I think I'm going to pick the Ouija, because he yeah. jumps taller. I could try him. Let's give the Ouija a try and see what happens here. Um, oh, yeah, he jumps pretty wide, so... Yeah, it actually might be very helpful <laughs> in this particular level. That's the one thing about Mario 2. You get to pick your character, because each character's got a, a special technique of how to get through the level. So, like, Princess can fly, Luigi can jump tall, uh, Toad's pretty quick, and then Mario is, like, medium between all of them, you know? It's like, they didn't really give Mario a special, uh, skill. It was very interesting. So, but, looks like we're advancing. Luigi is a lot better in this level than, uh, than the rest so far, which is really awesome. Uh, we got... Pokey. Alright, we just eliminated the entire cactus. <laughs> oh boy. And he returned. Oh joy. We need one of their heads. Alright, so now just to get through this one. Ah, oh, I just died again. <laughs> oh, well, it's amazing. Well, we're going to continue it because we can get through this. Now we know Luigi is a yeah. stronger character in this level. So let's give it a real shot here. Looks like we have to start right back at the beginning. And boom, we're going to go into this giant pot. I think what I'm going to do is pick up this guy. I think we throw him out of the way. And we're going to jump our way to the top. Alright, so now we drop the beacon right here, right in, pick up the mushroom before it sinks in the person. So that gives us a third heart, and we're just going to bypass all this stuff, and we're just going to get right back where we were. <laughs> there we go. Again, they're a lot faster. At least the cactus blocked the... Uh, those bullets from mine. Yeah. Alright. Avoid. Uh, yeah. it, it's hard to avoid that thing. You gotta destroy it. And the best way to destroy it is by picking up one of Pokey's heads and throwing it at it. You know? So, but we're going to do a giant hop, skip, and jump through this level. They got a heart out of it. <laughs> cool. Let's see. The background looks pretty cool because I know in the background it it did not have what's back there. I guess Mario All Stars they want to give it an upgrade, you know, in graphics to make it look a little better. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up an object. We're gonna destroy the entire pokey. <laughs> entire pokey. Another way is in if we can. Come here, Pokey. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Now go that way. Yeah, he, just, he wants to go wherever he feels like. Oh, there we go. Now we're advancing. Yay! <laughs> we're getting to the top here. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. Looks like there's nothing there, so let's go through. Now, you're going to see a bunch of these pots. You can go down all of them, but the recommendation, guys, is this one right here is where you want to go down. Now you see a little sand pit. In this game, the characters actually can dig into the sand. My recommendation is don't go straight down, do like angles like that. Because these creatures will fall straight down to you. And if you do an angle, they just go layer by layer by layer by layer. And, uh, and every time, if you want to get rid of that mask, just drop the key. You know, if you drop the key, every time you pick up the key, the mask is going to reappear. I'm going to try to go out here to recover the key. So, and he's going to follow you all over. So the best thing to do is just... Oh, boy. We're going to have a challenge to get out of the door. So, now we can unlock the door. And it looks 
like we are. Now here's a vice. It's the same type of dinosaur, but it doesn't have to, it's going to shoot fire only if they're green. So, best advice, folks, is to take these, I call them, they're, they're these uh, stone mushrooms. Oh, we just died, but the good news is we get to continue right, where, right here at the door. Um, this one I'm going to pick Toad, because he's a lot quicker. Luigi is known to be slow at picking up objects. So we're gonna sit here, ba boom, we're gonna pick up everything here, we're gonna drop. And we're gonna basically make a barricade. Right here. And now his fire can penetrate through the mushroom. The mushroom. And then when he comes closer, go one, two, and then three. <laughs> there you go. Alright, we just completed oh, wow. level world 6-1, and we have no bonuses this round. So, um, this one, guys, we're going to go to world 6, level 2, and it looks like we're going to... Oh, uh, this is going to be another level that we have to get through. We need to get to world 6, level 3, because there is another shortcut in that level to get us to 7. And I think, sadly to say, they're going to make us uh, fight... Uh, a main a main boss at the end of this oh, world. Boy. So my advice is, as you guys saw, I'm on top of this bird. Your goal is to just stay on this bird. You're gonna have to jump a few times, but you yeah, have a couple close calls. But basically, just stay on this bird. Don't get off it. Let it take you through the entire level. You're gonna have some challenges like that in the way, but I think we're in the clear right now. Just one more bird. You know, and we're just gonna try to get to the end. And looks like we just approached our ending right here. And we're going right to the door. So this level is not really too difficult, like the first one. Was. But in this one, we've got Mr. Flamo, Dino, Dino Flamo here. And now we gotta try to. We gotta try to beat him. The best way to beat him is by dropping these stones there. And we're just waiting to drop it right on them. And we're going to boom. And we're just going to wait until you take a little break. Charge. And we're going to oh, look at that. That was, a, that was, that was not fair. Alright, we got him. <laughs> so what do you think so far, dude? Well, this is good. This is lots of fun. We're going right through. No bonuses because we didn't get any coins in this one. Um, I think I'm going to stick with... Uh, we're going to go Mario on, on the last one here. Um, there is actually, folks, a shortcut. If you guys have never knew about this shortcut, you're going to learn it right now here on BGC Extend. First, I'm going to take Beacon. I don't know if there was anything in this area again. No, but I think you're supposed to take it further down that way, but that don't matter. What we're going to do is you want Mario to kind of sink into this quicksand and then keep pressing the jump button. Don't let him sink all the way down or he dies. And basically you're going through looks like an underground tunnel. And then all of a sudden, there's a door that appears. For years I was wondering where the clouds in this door took took you to and then I just discovered right here exactly and then boom we're right here at the end which is really awesome so the good news is we still got now we got a red dinosaur this guy throws eggs and throws fire so you got to be careful because you don't know when he's going to throw fire or throw eggs the good news is you have multiple ways to uh, to beat him but unfortunately this doesn't end here because we're at the end of this world now we get to beat the world boss so now we're in his giant room with three-headed snakes <laughs> throwing nothing but fire so my advice is we need to build a wall so the best thing to do is take these uh, mushroom stones as I call them and I just died right there <laughs> and we got two lives left I think I'm gonna go with Toad because he's very quick at picking this stuff up and we're going to go right through here, and we're going to complete all this stuff here. And let's see. Alright. 
What do you think of the three-headed snake? That's interesting. I mean, some of the, the bosses in here, none of them are related to... And it's not even Bowser. He's, his name is Warped, you know? And you just gotta basically pick him up. Oh, and I die on top of that! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> oh! I've never done that in my life! Oh my gosh! But now we know what happens. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, let's try it again. <laughs> I hope you guys got a good laugh out of that one. That was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, my advice... Oh, and we just dropped one into the pit. Um, Toad is notorious of... Um, he doesn't dro just drop them, you know? So we're going to continue, because we're going to beat this guy. So let's continue with Toad. Princess is very hard to pick up. Um, stone. So, oh man, we're right back to world one. So, I think, you know, we're going to probably save and, save and quit for right now. Yeah. Because uh, I would say we've gone a little on the long side, but it actually was pretty fun to show everybody how yeah, to quickly get from world one to world six. Because mm -hmm. world seven is the last one where you have to meet the enemy. But we will continue showing world six and world seven in our next segment so but until guys thank you so much i hope it i hope the the pointers we gave you on super mario 2 were helpful if you're playing it at home and um you know and what'd you think overall it's good it's good it's definitely not the original but it did it did have like this nice uh nice nice theme to it and the gameplay is really awesome so it's got that going for it yeah so I guess we're going to end it here for today, but tune back next week when we uh, do our next segment on basically World 6 and 7 of Super Mario 2, or at least World 7 I think we're going to do. And until then, this is uh, D-Man and Paul with VGC Extended. We want to thank you so much for watching our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. Very important so you can stay up to date when we have our next segment on Super Mario 2 and any other future retro games we're doing. And uh, just keep checking back with our channel. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys all next week when we discuss more retro video games.